Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today um, we are doing something totally different. We do not have a BMW. Actually, we're going to be using Sal's R7 to code a bunch of features. Um, I have we have done a demo run. Um, some of the things I've coded, some of them have not, and I'll discuss in the car. Uh, but to code um, Audis and Volkswagen, what you need is you need this OBD reader, uh, OBD11. Um, it comes from different websites. I'll put the link below in my other videos that I've done on the OBD. Um, and what you need, basically you need this device, you need a pro activation code, and then you also need credits to code the car with. So let's get started. I'm gonna take this device and plug it all the way down here in the car. Um, you will see uh, it's a purple OBD in here. Once you plug it in, it plugs in perfectly fine. And then um, you do wanna set your car um, either ignition on, do not start the car or put on a trickle charger and then you can connect it, turn your Bluetooth on. And on your phone, I would recommend to set it to airplane mode if you're expecting calls or something because you don't want it to be interrupted your coding sessions. So turning the car on with ignition on, and then what we want to do is we want to connect um, as since my Bluetooth is already on it's giving me option of OBD 11 so I'm going to select that option of OBD 11 here it does take some time about 20 to 30 seconds so don't be alarmed uh, if you haven't set this up it's going to try to connect your Bluetooth then it's going to ask you for your car then it's going to ask the specs of the car for example, A7, RS7, R7, A6, and so forth. So do that setting initially. Once you do it, it saves it and it stores it like it has stored it here. We can do a scan to get the faulty codes, uh, you know, like airbags, sensors, your radio sensors, navigation sensors, and all that stuff, but we're not doing that. We're gonna click on this car picture and then it loads a bunch of options. Um, we're gonna go into apps and depending on your car, what options it has and what's equipped with, it's gonna give you the list you can do with it. Uh, keep in mind, uh, if you have uh, A or S, uh, not putting anyone down, but you might have more options in here to do depending on R RS car because RS car will have a bunch more options already that it's stocked with. So starting from the top, um, uh, what you can do is, um, gear indicator um, you will see that's turned on right now because in the previous video we have already done it to make sure it was working what this means is in drive um, the gear indicator is going to turn on um, and it's going to show like d1 d2 d3 along with sports mode it's also going to turn on um, headlight basic settings we're not doing it um, mirror link in motion uh, you can do what this means is you can mirror link your car. Most of these will work with Android phones to your screen on the car while driving. For example, this is a good thing to do for your um, uh, Google Maps or something if you want to try. Um, so I have done this already, so that's why you see it turned on uh, and it uses 100 credits. Um, initially, what we did uh, was video in motion. And this is the one that's being funky right now. I had to do this twice. It did work the second time it stayed on. Um, and I'll try to make up a follow-up video to see if it works or not. Um, also, uh, we have done uh, rear lid control. You will see it's on. Again, like I was mentioning about the RS car, since this is an RS car, the sound actor, which is like the fake sound that gets from the inside of the car sound system it's going to tell you it's off. You can turn it on and depending on on and off or d different cars. Um, so cancel, we don't need to do this. Um, oil and brake, we're going to leave it blank. Uh, we don't need to do this. Uh, mirror dip is something uh, we have done and I tested this with Cell and this is not working, which is very surprising because in reverse, whether the mirror is on the pointing to the right or the neutral or the left, it does not dip down. Um, so for giggles let's try again I'm gonna turn it on and code it again yeah see it says value not changed because I left it on but it's not doing it at all 
after afterwards when reversing at the mirror knob passenger motion general tilt the wheel. Yeah, so we had it in the passenger side. It did not uh, do it at all. Uh, we'll test it again, but you can do this setting as well if you want to. Windows and sunroof is one of the ones that is turned on, um, but it is not working. Um, again, this is one of the ones we ha I have to go back and test and make sure this MMI setting is set correctly too as well. Um, so it's turned on and then it's telling us to go into your MMI menu to change MMI settings to allow remote. Oh, I see. That's This is why it's not working. So we need to go into menu um, on the car and then go in car and then go into car system. Okay. And then from car system, go into vehicle settings. Steering. Um, center locking. Central locking. Press that. Long press to open windows, door unlocking. Okay, so the first one talks about that. Okay, so the reason it was not working on the remote when we were testing it because in your MMI setting it's not set. In order to do that, I think you click on front windows. Um, you can click on rear windows and then you can click on roof. Um, this will show you that's done and then depending on your options if you only want to do front windows you can do change it later and then go from that way. But for now I'm going to leave it all three and we'll show you how it's done. Um, mirror dip. I want to see this again. I thought we could have seats with memory position. Okay. Um, again, this is an RS car, so it will not have the start-stop function at all. Um, Audi is equipped with lap timer, so no need to spend credits to do it. Side marker lights are already, the amber lights are turned off. It does not have it on. Um, shift pedals, don't need to. Headlight wash, if you want to change it, you can do it. But um, a lot of people have done this, but I believe all the RS cars, RS3, 4, 5, uh, six and seven come with a needle sweep, so you don't need to waste credit on here. As you can see, it's turned on already. And then uh, Euro parking lights. Um, this I tested. Um, it's set to off, but depending on the parking lights when they're on, I do see this on. So left it like that and not change it. If you guys want to change it, you can change it, and then go from there. The last one is seat belt warning. Uh, I know a lot of people I know would like to turn this off, but I recommend leaving it on. Safety is first concern, right? So safety matters. So guys, uh, we have done the coding. Uh, a couple of things that I do still have questions about that I do not like how it's done in the OBD 11. But what I wanted to show you is how to roll the windows down. We coded it so the windows would go down and go up, but up is not working and I'll show you how because if I unlock it and hold it down the second time, windows go down. It's down, the sunroof is open, but if I lock it and hold it, it doesn't go up. Whether I do it two times, three times, uh, four times, one, two, three, four, it doesn't do it. Even if I do it the first time and lock it, it doesn't do it. Um, and the only way I was able to do it with a key, but I, at the same time what I want to show is if you hold the remote, the trunk will open all the way through. I can use the button in the door handle to do it, or you can hold, tap the trunk button once on the key fob and it's gonna close the remote as well. Uh, but to close the windows and the sunroof, uh, what I found out is you have to actually use the key and lock the car, which is standard feature. Uh, and then the second time, it should roll all the windows up. And then um, also the driver D1, D2 is showing up. 
the mirror tilt is acting as a manual where you have to do it from the center to the right passenger view and go from there. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, next up, we're going to be doing a long coating uh, with the same car and go from there. Thank you guys for watching.